Hey! Jay Chisel. And Bojangles on the track. It's really not that long. All forces equal zero. Free body diagram. Have become a hero. And in this rap at chapter two. Starting this thing out, oh school. If you're trying to add vectors, go head to tail. If you use this method, it will never fail. The unit vector is dimensionless. Direction with magnitude one, don't forget. Don't worry about i, j, k. Respectively, it's just x, y, z. When you're talking about a force, it can also cause a moment, which is when it gives the object the wanting to pivot. To calculate the moment, you use r cross f, which is the distance to the force caused with the force itself. Yeah. Two equal forces in opposite directions are a couple lifted parallel and they are so special. The forces cancel out, so you don't have to worry, but don't forget about the moment, it's, it's really not that tricky. Not that All forces equal zero. Diagram have become a hero. Tresses are no problem, you have two different options. Go pop apart with joints or split it into sections. Tackle either way with three body diagrams, but simplify the zero force membership. Blam! Machines and frames are similar, just put them apart into pieces you can solve. But really, it's no art. If there's a pulley in the problem, just single it out. I know the tangents in the rope are all the same. Don't, don't doubt. doubt. It's equilibrium, all forces equal nada. Draw a free body diagram, then ta da! Sum of forces in x, sum of forces in y. Next is algebra, it's easy as pie. Open up that beam, take a look inside. There's normal shear and moment all trying to hide. Positive moments create a smiling face. Look at a small section, starting at the base. The force called friction opposes motion, but there are two situations that do need inspection. When there is impending motion, then get a grip. To figure out if it will tip or will it slip. To find out what you take note of the friction coefficient. If it is large and it'll tell us it could hug the pavement. Without impending motion, it's another normal problem. Draw a diagram and some of the forces. Yeah, it ain't so gruesome. Sensors are about that balance and act. You need to find out the center of mass. Table in the back shows you where it's at. Start with a big shape and subtract what's whack. Sum up those centers, multiply by area. Divide by total area to avoid hysteria. Triangles are one third or one third times two, all depending on your point of view. Finding the moment of inertia of an object is easy. Find the corresponding formula and plug it in GZ. But if some parts are further out, be prepared to use the parallel axis theorem, which is AD squared. Forces equal zero. Free body diagrams have become a hero.